Matrix, um, welcome back into our lesson video. Um, those who haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe um, into red subscribe button. Okay, please just click that red subscribe button. Okay, um, if you have any questions into today's topic that we're going to be discussing, of which we have discussed before, but uh, calculations are getting more complex right now. So if you have any questions on Newton's second law calculations, you can um, drop a, um, an email, okay? Yes. So my email is bukokwadela04 at gmail.com. Anyways, I'll, I'll mention my email um, on the description below, okay? Yes, on the video description. Okay, let's get into today's topic. Okay, so guys, in this scenario or in this diagram, we are given... Um, that there is a box two boxes okay x and y um x being represented um or the 10 kg block being represented by x and 20 kg block being represented by y okay so these two boxes are connected okay yes and they are moving they are moving verti vertically yes so they are being pulled by by a force of 460 newtons okay that's the force that is being that is being applied okay the applied force is 460 460 newtons so let's try to be very quick again guys so our very first questions uh, there says draw a free body diagram for 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 block x or for x okay yes so now we're going to draw a free body diagram for for x okay yes so for answers so these are answers so these are answers okay yes so for number one so for number one we're drawing a free body diagram for, for body x so x Okay, for free body diagram, mind you guys, your your dot, okay, that represents your your object, must be quite bigger, okay, yes, because there might be two or one more forces acting in the same direction, okay, so you must be able to 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 accompany them um, or to represent them um, in this in this uh, from this dot, okay, so. We have the applied force let's look at 10 kg block guys so there is the applied force going upwards okay yes so we have we have the applied force okay yes that's the applied force okay also we have the tension force okay yes the tension between and mind you guys that um this block is moving upwards meaning that the force that is being applied is is greater than than the tension okay yes that is pulling that 10 kg block downwards okay so the magnitude or the length of this vector or this arrow must be must be smaller than than this one or this one must be must be quite longer than than this one but in terms of um in terms of your your marking that doesn't matter guys okay but please just to make or create your own understanding and owner and then the understanding to, to the marker okay yes so please guys try to try to try to show between these two okay so we have your tension okay this is your this is your tension this is your tension force okay that is also a force that is acting on 10 kg block okay you can see that 10 kg block is in the air okay yes not even on the surface okay meaning that there is also a gravitational force acting downwards okay there is a gravitational force acting acting downwards gravitational force is equals to is equals to mg 
is equals to weight okay or you would say fg is equals to weight okay yes that's how it goes so yes so this is the free body diagram for body for body x okay or for block x okay so moving to to number two guys okay let's move to number two so number two so number two says calculate the acceleration okay so now guys okay mind you there is also a tension that is acting both on these two on these two blocks or on these two objects 10 kg block or and 20 kg block meaning that when we when we are trying to um, use our formula f net is equal to ma meaning that there will, there will be two variables the tension force and acceleration that are unknown meaning that we can't use them or we can't use this formula effectively meaning that we have to first calculate the acceleration for for x and calculate the acceleration for y okay yes so that we are going to have two equations now okay yes and this is where <laughs> the complications start guys but please it's very very easy just try to to pay the attention okay so the net force is equals to is equals to um m a okay okay so now this is for this is for let's say this is for this is for block x okay this is for block this is for block x okay yes so this is for block x which is the 10 kg block okay so what are the forces that are acting all the forces that are acting on block on block um x it's your applied force plus okay it's moving upwards guys okay yes it's the applied force plus plus um the tension force okay the tension is minus okay yes minus the tension force minus gravity okay because there's also gravitational force that's acting on that object pushing it downwards okay yes and also the tension is opposing the motion because the 20 kg block is pulling 10 kg block downwards and also gravitational force acting downwards meaning that again guys mind you when an object or when a force is acting on an object downwards that basically means that that's negative okay that force is negative and when you pull up or a force is acting upwards on an object in terms of vertical upwards meaning that the force is positive okay yes as you can see that a force applied is positive okay so as well as okay so is equal to um mass times acceleration okay so what's our applied force there is 460 460 um minus the tension force you don't know the tension force minus fg okay just before we put fg there the gravitational force we have in yet calculated our gravitational force but it's very easy guys let's go and calculate our gravitational force so you know that your gravitational force is equal to mg okay yes mass times gravity this becomes what's the mass of 10 kg block it's 10 okay multiply by 9,8 let's go into our calculators guys and look for 10 multiplied by 9,8 that gives us 10 multiply by 9,8 that gives us 98 newtons so the gravitational force that is acting on the 10 kg block is 98 newtons minus 98 is equal to the mass 10 multiplied by acceleration
okay so 460 minus 98 let's press into our calculators guys 460 minus 98 okay 560 minus 98 and gives us 362 okay so we have 362 minus the tension force okay is equals to 10a okay we have two variables that and then so this becomes our equation equation one okay yes so now let's look for for block for block y okay and this is going to become our second second equation so for our block y the net force the net force is equal to mass times acceleration okay so there we have a tension that is acting upwards 10 kg block pulling pulling 20 kg block upwards we know that the tension is positive because now it's moving it's moving upwards okay so tension minus okay plus because this is these are the net forces plus the gravitational force okay yes this is close to ma mass times acceleration so our tension we don't know so what's our gravity so our gravity let's go and calculate our gravity for for the gravitational force acting on 20 kg block so your f3 is equal to ma this um mg so sorry mass times gravitational force so this becomes 20 multiplied by 9,8 let's go into our calculators guys and press 20 multiplied by 9,8 so 20 multiply by 9,8 this becomes 196 newtons okay 196 newtons okay that's the gravity acting on 20 kg block y okay so minus 196 this becomes 20 a okay and this becomes our second our second um equation okay so now we have to combine these two equations and so that you can work out for acceleration okay so this becomes 362 minus um, the tension force is equal to 10a okay and this is okay this is x and for y we have t for y minus 196 is equal to 20a okay so now we have 30 okay 30a is equal to okay so you can see now our ft okay the tension for the tension force okay let's just say like this the tension force tension force tension force okay so this tension force tension force minus tension this console this okay yes so 362 minus 196 let's press our calculators so 362 minus 196 this becomes 166 okay so this becomes 160 66 okay over 30 over 30 and therefore our acceleration is equal to this cancel this so 166 divided by 30 let's press our calculators divide by divide by 30 this becomes 5,53 meters per second squared okay 5,53 meters um, per second squared okay that's how it goes guys okay so that's how it goes so i think and i guess you understand and i guess you're lost guys okay 
so again if you have any questions on what you are doing please email me okay i put my email on my um video description okay yes in the description below um the third question says calculate tension okay now guys so that says we must calculate let's calculate the tension okay mind you mind you the only variable that is left right now that is unknown by the way it's the tension the tension force meaning that if you can substitute at any equation either from block y or from block x substitute our acceleration on 20a or acceleration from 10a and just that can that it will give you it will give you the same tension which is correct okay our tension or what you can also also do you can just use our formula for newton's second law net force is equal to ma or frs is equal to ma so you then you combine all the forces the applied force okay which is 460 minus um minus the, the tension force minus gravity the mass of the box x 10 and the acceleration which is 5.53 yes so you can do either in in any way okay yes so let me just substitute from our equation too okay yes so f t or tension force minus one nine six is equal to 20 multiplied by five comma five five three okay yes it will give you the same very same answer no matter how you did um you did find your your, your tension force so this becomes so 20 multiply by 5,53 okay multiply by 5,53 okay yes twenty multiply by 5,53 it becomes 110 okay yes 110 comma six so um this becomes this way so tension force here so you can plus 196 okay so our tension force is equal to 110 comma six plus 196 okay plus 196 this becomes 306 comma six 306 comma six newtons okay and that's our that's our tension force okay guys mind you again some of you might have used um the, the acceleration that has recurring um numbers five three five three five three five three after a comma okay yes that will give you a little bit um different tension force okay it might be troll six comma seven or troll six comma six but at least that's a very same amount of force okay yes so that's how it goes um thank you so much see you next time those who haven't yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel guys okay bye